This afternoon I've been having a look at Apollo to see if they've got any if there's any news out or if there's some clues to the states that could be joining the UAS and I found out some interesting things. I'm going to start with this one. It's about Zimbabwe joining with Apollo Fintech to develop a gold-backed cryptocurrency for the country. It says the collaboration is expected to allow Zimbabweans to have access to the Apollo wallet for digital currency payments. In fact, Apollo has signed an MOU, Memorandum of Agreement, with the Zimbabwean government. So I do wonder if Zimbabwe will be one of the states to join the UAS. And I found another partnership with Apollo, this time it's Lesotho. And it says the government of Lesotho signs a deal with Apollo cryptocurrency platform. The tiny country of Lesotho has entered into a deal with a crypto related company Apollo in a bid to deliver blockchain solutions in the country. Both parties have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, that will guide them in delivering blockchain and cryptocurrency solutions to a government department. The collaboration targets state departments and functions in the area of poverty alleviation, education, employment and the private sector. And from three months ago, this article says, over the past few months, the Apollo Foundation has started the African Initiatives Programme and it is blasting off with a solid start. Already on board are Zimbabwe, Benin, Senegal and a surprise memorandum of understanding with Lesotho due to the effectiveness of the programme. And the last article is another Twitter one and it's from the Apollo Twitter feed. It says, the Apollo team continues to develop relationships with government officials and business leaders in Africa, Europe, Asia and the Middle East. The team recently met with officials, executives and influencers in Ivory Coast, Egypt, Benin and Malawi. The main objective of National Currency Initiative is to gain wider adoption of Apollo all-in-one currency where institutions, merchants and consumers use APLs for economic activity. Steve McCullough, Director of Business Development, says, We have found incredible interest in Asia and the Middle East as well. Just this month, we have our first government meetings in Egypt, anticipating great things. Over the past few months, Apollo members have also met with officials and executives in Lesotho, Comoros, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Senegal and South Africa. Well, that was quite some interesting finds, I think. I'm pretty sure that some of those countries named, countries or areas, will be part of the UAS. I mean, Lesotho is a really, really tiny country. It's landlocked in South Africa. So I'm wondering if that could be the first one and not Zimbabwe, or maybe an area of Zimbabwe, but I don't think we've got long to wait. I hope you found that interesting, and I'll be back tomorrow.